Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. This is episode 10. In the last episode, we made our way through the Library of the Ancients, which was... an experience. <laughs> no, it was fine. It was fine. And after doing that, we, I brought us back to Karnak so that we could progress the plot, but we'll be doing some optional stuff soon. For now, though, we need to... Well, I need to try and remember where Sid is. I think he's upstairs in the pub, right? It's been like two days since I recorded last, and uh, that's apparently long enough for me to <laughs> worry about forgetting mechanics. We'll go for that. Phoenix down one more. Why not? We've got the money. And a couple of tents. We need to stock up on those. There we go. I probably should have saved a bit more money than that, but I, I specifically wanted to top up a little bit. Come on, that's it. Where you two? There he is. Still moping about. Sid. Mid isn't here? Come on, man. Pull yourself together. Yeah, she... I thought Mid came back to... Sort him out. Leave me alone. Don't waste your time on a worthless old lump like me. No. Oh. Grandpa! <gasps> We're gonna see it first hand. Mid... <laughs> Just gonna dance for him. <laughs> Ouch, Mid, stop that. What are you doing? The dancing ain't that bad, surely. <laughs> what am I doing? What are you doing, you silly old fool? You never give up. Never. <laughs> Looks like a flamenco. Flamenco dancing. You always told me not to be afraid of failing. You told me that if you mess up, you have to start over and try again. What happened to that? Do you know, I prefer Mid's character in Final Fantasy 16. I won't. I won't compliment Final Fantasy XVI for much, because I, I really disliked it, but, well, a lot of the elements. But, I use elements loosely, because there are no elements in the game. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's just not fantastic. But yeah, I prefer Mid's character in Final Fantasy XVI. I like the, the spunky little girl, or teenager, or whatever the hell she's supposed to be. She goes exploring, but it's medieval days, so I'm sure they would let five-year-olds do that. Would you dig this up? Mm, I see, like that. Nice work, mate. This could do it. Alright, let's get to work. Yeah! Okay, so the whole sort of mid-sid arc of the game is now... I think it's done. We might speak to him again. Once or twice, but... You know, the whole Library of the Ancients and stuff to get them together. All done. So next up, we need to go on over to the fire firepowered ship. The ship that can't move! But, they've read a book. And you know what that means in an RPG. They are uber intelligent. Out of the way. Oh, no, what? <laughs> You'll have to excuse Mid. He's all fired up. We'll take care of the ship. You just sit tight. Yeah, he wasn't very polite. Give him a slap. Where are we? Oh. Oh, the world map. <laughs> Gallif, what's wrong? Yeah, you do look even stranger than usual. <laughs> Gallif, are you alright? My head. It's all... hairy. <laughs> it's like I could almost remember. Oh, if only that werewolf hadn't died. Grandpa! Mid? Oh, why is it going back to that? Grandpa! <gasps> He's got a granddaughter, Kryl. She'll actually be an important character in the game. Eventually. Ouch! Mid, stop that! What are you doing? Does Kryl dance for him too? <laughs> oh, she does! She looks like she's just playing whack attack though. Silly old fool. Kryl. I like that blurry sort of wavy effect. Yeah, what do you remember? <laughs> Kryl. <laughs> I'm not from this world. <gasps> I came here in a meteorite sent from another world. Because because the evil we'd sealed away 30 years ago was beginning to reawaken. I came here to stop it. 
Evil's reawakening. That's right. And a terrible evil at that. The Dark Warlock. X-Death. E. The main villain of the game is finally showing himself. Well, not quite, but... <laughs> no doubt about it. The power of the four crystals converges on this spot. Perfect. We lose their power to seal X-Death here. Okay. Ah, I've seen an area of forest surrounded by mountains. Like, from the outside, we've seen it. I came here once before to seal him away 30 years ago. So if all four crystals are destroyed, then the seal you placed on X-Death will be broken? Right. Ugh, my head. Galif. Still can't remember clearly. Ugh, we can't allow X-Death to be uh, revived. Alive. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Galif, I'm okay. Okay, this is our new plot. Let's see what these were working on. Yawn. Ah, slept like a top. Like a top. I've never heard that before. Slept like a top sounds disgusting. <laughs> I'm not going any further with that one. I sound like an old man. Hey, it's finished. We are so awesome. Presenting a boat that will sail without any wind. Hey, now we have a ship. We can go find the Earth Crystal. Righto, we're counting on you. We'll return to the Library of the Ancients for now. We should be able to find some more clues there. Remember they go in there. Because, like I said, there is maybe once or twice we have to talk to them to progress plot. But it's not yet. If you need anything, make sure to stop by. Take care of yourselves. Okay, now that we've done quite a significant bit of plot, the fact that Gallus from another world, the fact that we've got the name for the main villain next death, we've got a ship. But what we're going to do next is actually a bit optional, like I, like I was going to say. <laughs> next up then, let's just sail around a little bit and have a couple of battles. Because I want to get the beast you filled up a little bit. So if we just all attack... I... Yeah, this should be enough. Wow. Wow. I forgot how powerful our, our bots and Faris are right now. Nice. So it's the Sahag Sahagins? 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 <laughs> Ooh, a potion. Oh, look at our ship. It's got little wheels and everything. Thunder Animal. That's another one that we want. But again, it doesn't teach anything, so we'll just see if we can just kill him off a sec. We're going to get... There's like loads of different areas of sea which give you different enemies and things. So we're going to be getting a lot of entries right now. And what I might end up doing is just cutting completely and just going to where we need to go and showing you on the map where it is. So that's the Thunder Animal. Uh, okay, so next up, I think I want to go to Bike Crescent Isle, which is, see down on the bottom right? The, the crescent, the moon looking thing. That's where we'll go next. And maybe we'll come across some more random encounters. New enemies as we go. Ooh, new enemy, the sea, the sea abyss. Just <laughs> see if we can get rid of him as quickly as possible. If I can hit him, I know he's a flying enemy. Ah, we got one hit in, and it was enough. So he is meant to be really tough to hit. I getcha. And this is the enemy that was by the crescent isle. So... Do want to get one more enemy? A sec, and that is outside. We want to go away from the inner sea. So if we go outside of all these islands and stuff. Ooh, here we go. The Corvettes. This is why I was. Oh, it took a little while. I'll show you on the map now where it was. Wow, that was some damage against Bart. So. Okay, it's gonna be a tougher fight. It's because we're away from the inner sea and. We don't necessarily have to be here yet, but I'm guessing that's why, anyway. Deathway. If we can just get rid of one of them now. Oh, Christ, yeah, I've got some health. Yeah, one down, one down, one down. We're good, we're good. We're cracking. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Come on, Len, I don't die. I feel like we could get some good EXP out of this. She tried Gaia. Why not? Whirlpool. That's probably why not. 
<laughs> oh dear. Come on. Oh, he's still alive, the bollocks. Shit, let's bring him back. Maybe that'll be enough to finish the fight if Gallif just attacks now. Ooh, it wasn't. There we go. Oh, no EXP? But loads of gil. Ooh, okay. I think I would have rather loads of EXP from our fight. But we'll live. Okay, so we got the Corbett. And I am... If I have a look on the minimap, but there. I don't know exactly where, but it got to be away from the inner sea, so that's about it. Next place I want to go to get some more uh, bestial entries is the Jackal area. And I know you can use the map and it will help out wherever the hell it is. Uh, map, map, map. Ah, I just saw it. Okay, here we go. So the Jackal area. Huh not got it. I think it's roughly where we are, but inside. And I think we have to be on land. So, okay, I'll get us to where the grey blobs are, right next to us, sort of on the other side of the mountains. See you in Okay, I think this is roughly where we want to be. Ballman Double is a very nice. Okay, I'm not sure how tough these enemies are going to be, but that one just went down pretty quick, so maybe we'll be maybe we'll be spiffing. Bombs went down easy enough. They normally explode in Final Fantasy games, don't they? But they didn't seem to be doing anything when they were losing health, they... Ah, sorted. Bart's Master Spellblade level 5. Okay, okay. Doing well. So that's the bomb and the double lizard. Done. But no, you don't learn self-destruct off it. It's weird. Speaking of, I wanted to check this. I, I don't think I checked it. We're doing quite well on the blue magics, look. There's quite a few filled in. Quote down enemies HP. Oh, okay, I thought it was just a lot of damage. And question marks still say, don't know. <laughs> Self-destruct, we've already learned, so we don't have to learn that coming up somewhere. It's already done. Good. Uh, just one more enemy I want to find around here then. So if we just run around in circles. There's a cave over there, just so. Actually, I might go in there just to get it on the world map kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Ha. Ah. The enemies around you aren't too bad, look. It's just when we went outside of where we were probably meant to be. Jackal Cave. <laughs> so that's added to our list of locations and it's easy to find for me later. So we're looking for the Bio Soldier. And here they are, right outside of Jackal, but I don't want to go in there right now. We'll be going out in the... Not too long, actually. Probably in this episode. Bio? Hence the name. Nobody got poisoned though, so that's nice. Okay, so I'll see all the enemies by you. Next area we want to go to. Let me get up the the old world map, but maybe it'll help us this time. You never know. So, we're going to the history area, which <laughs> sounds like history, and for good reason. Um, in the northwest. So, see that grey blob in the far northwest? I think that's probably where we want to be going. And there are four enemies there. So I'm going to stop off at a town first. Not this one, but a town. Along the way. Hey, here we go. So I found some new enemies. I'm just pausing. <laughs> there is a move to learn from the Black Flans. Or the Black Flame. Black Flame. <laughs> so it teaches Dark Spark. And there it is. Wow, if, if I can control it. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to, but I will try. And put him in the front row. You never know, it might make might give him more chance of it aiming for her, for her, but apparently not. Let's see if we can get rid of the stone golem as we're going. 46 damage, come on now. I know he's sort of in the back row as well as his high physical defense. Oh, stop missing. Damn it, you can't control him, you know. Let's get in. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. I don't want to get rid of either of the dark of the black flames, just because I feel like you know, twice the chance of 
they mean me not Faris and hit in. But they never wanna hit. This can be a long fight in this case. Go on the back row. Let's move them. Let's move them. It might help. <laughs> except for, except for our Lena, obviously, obviously. Wow. He's taken some major killing. I did heal up on the way back. Level halved. Are oh, you twat? Absolute twat. <laughs> Ooh, yes! There we go. We've got it. Let's get killing. And a stone golem. It should be really easy to kill. Oh, Christ. Really easy to kill, right? Because we've been hurting it so much. Nice. There we go. I think they must be those enemies that are really hard to kill. Like those birds we... No. Really hard to hit, I, I meant, but... No, they, they seemed okay. We hit three times in a row. After a ton of missing. Here we go. I bet control would have been better. So there's Dark, Dark Spark. We got the Black Flame. And the Stone Golem. So, two more. Ooh, Mini Dragon. This is the one you have to be in a forest for. And look how much damage we're... I was going to say dealing, but not dealing might be the better. <laughs> better way of going about it. We're definitely not supposed to be in this area yet, I wouldn't say. Because I feel like I'm decently leveled. But at the same time, we're not doing too much enemy damage to the enemies and they're doing quite a bit to us. So if we just keep on hacking away at one enemy, maybe we can just give it a one at a time. Ugh, if we didn't miss. I really don't want to run away. Having five of them at once is a bit of a shit, though. Oh, Christ, he's gonna die. I need to heal up, though. Come on. Once one goes down, I'll feel better. Wow, I'm gonna have to run away. I don't want to. Now we're gonna lose this fight. Shit, shit. When did I last... When did I last... Ah, oh, good. Save, I was going to say. And it was a while ago. Okay, let's check out this town a sec then. And I will check out the beastery and see if we got mini dragon in there. We shouldn't have. <laughs> I don't think. Uh, but we'll have a look. Mini dragon. I don't think we should have. It might be 52. I don't know. I don't know the numbers, but... No, we haven't, have we? Okie doke. Let's heal up. Where's the inn? That's why I'm a shepherd. <laughs> oh, that's it. How are items? Nothing in this place. It's a completely optional place, in other words. Why are you allowed to come back here then? That's a secret thing. If there are no items, no... I keep exploring as if there's somewhere to go. <laughs> Let's see if there are any shops in this town. I want to have a little look around anyway. Magic. Yeah, there are some shops. Some better armour. Which, yeah, I do really want. Huge waterfall east of here. That's Istri Falls. Pretty impressive, huh? Still, every time I see those millions of gallons of water, I kind of feel this urge. Toilet? Looked in a flower bed and found something good. Yeah, well. Oh, we can't get to the falls. It's completely blocked because of an earthquake. What we got here that we could buy, they're really expensive. Um, no, we, we can't buy it right now, it's too expensive. Flame Ring absorbs fire and protects against ice, but are weak against water attacks. Colorants absorb water and protect against fire, but are weak against lightning attacks. We want to get one or two of those later on. Angel Rings protect against aging and zombification. While I'm at it, I'll tell you about the ultimate accessory, the ribbon, it prevents most stats ailments. Yeah, but nobody can equip it. I mean, it's a helmet, it is, but nobody can. I don't understand. We got a ribbon, but we can't use it. 
Maybe I'll Google that at some point. Okay, so defensive stuff in there. Still fog sleeping when this warm up. Okay, there's nothing there. There was there was that one NPC down by there who was hinting at looking at flowers, but nope. Some monster dressed like an old fella's wander in the eastern woods. Stay sharp or zap you with a bolt of lightning. Old fella, eh? Lightning. If you've played Final Fantasy, you know about that. Right, we got all the spells. All type based spells. Okay, I think that's all I want to do here for now. Cheapies. I've healed up. I am going to try again against the mini dragons, and hopefully only one or two will show up this time, if that's possible. <gasps> Ramu! Shit, I should... I still didn't save, but that didn't do much damage. We'll see. I'll keep... I'll have a designated healer and see how that turns out. Flash, everyone's going to be blinded. Bollocks, bollocks. Okay, uh... Soon, uh... It's only single target. I think I'll use it on Faris. The Coral Ring would have been good by you, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it lightning based? It might be in thick. That didn't do much damage, you know, against him. Let's try a Gaia, see how it does. <gasps> Ooh! How lucky was that? And he's trying to osmos him. As if that's gonna help. Wow! We have to keep using that. Oh, still missed. <laughs> okay. Oh, I did a lot less damage. Is it random damage? Than Dara. Okay, it makes sense that he has that. But it did a lot of damage. I wonder if he can use Judgment Bolt. Oh, stop missing. You're not blind anymore. Gaia seems to be our main thing. How weird is that? Our main damage. Leave that for a sec. Right, he hit. Well done! <laughs> well done, Bart. Oh, I really wasn't expecting to do this boss today. If it? Yeah? What are you doing here? They're all getting together! I see we have come even more powerful. If we would lend that strength to us. So we've got Ifrit, Shiva, and Ramu. You and I have never been enemies. Yeah, exactly. So come with us. Sorted. Much. Only 3 AP. Ramu? Right. So this is technically <laughs> missable. I mean, teaches us some magic Ramu. Do not discard it. There we go. Learned Ramu. The note said don't discard it, but it didn't even give me the option then. So only a freelancer can have ribbon. And maybe something else later in the game. But that's good. That's a good thing. A good reason to have a freelancer. Let's save. I'm going to look for the mini dragon as well as the last remaining enemy in this area. Mythal dragon. There it is. Okay. Oh, that was. Oh, I shouldn't have attacked with her then. Let's try a Gaia. Wow, okay, that's Mythal Dragon done. I was expecting that to be tough for some reason. One more, just the mini dragon, so we saw before, but I didn't defeat. Hey, Jay. Wow, the first one went down really quick then. So, we might be in with a bit of luck. With one, one less enemy to take care of. Unless they keep using frost against everyone, that would be awful. But it could happen. It's just how Gallops move. Just did a randomly huge amount of damage, and I don't understand why. Wow, see? It's, it's, it's hard when it, that keeps happening. Sorry, had to move the mic. Okay, we can do this. Why? Why are you doing it? Why is everyone missing all the time? Okay, two down. We've we've definitely won it, I think. We just gotta make sure to heal up and not get cocky. If I had summons, if I was using a summoner, maybe that would have been better. It's not like we would have been missing out on much AP and stuff like that from the fight anyway. 
branch arrow again. That's... See, it did way less damage that time. I don't understand why. Right, I'm going to keep Q for a sec. Hold it back until we get hurt more. Is it because he's hitting an enemy in the back row? Is that why that's doing so much less damage now? It might be. Okay. Oh, he's still alive. I thought that would have finished him off for some reason. There's no way we can lose now, right? Surely. <gasps> Faris hit! Didn't do much damage, but he hit. Yeah, no one down. Okay. So the back two now, the two remaining ones, they've been hit by Branch Spear quite a few times. So I think we might be close to finishing the fight. And that's been a long fight. Yes! That took a few goals. Look at the amount of EXP out of it though. Can you imagine if we put four times EXP on? Wow! Yeah, that's a good place to level up right now. Ooh, what's that? Smart saver. A hundred thousand gold. Okay. Next up then. I think I will heal and I'll take us on over to the crescent area which is on the map bottom right where the crescent moon is or island it's quite far away okay we've made it here i put the encounters back on i turn them off just to wander around just don't go in the town yet we don't want to go in the town <laughs> harvester is the first of the two enemies i want to encounter around here oh actually i think i want to learn something from them no i don't no i don't it's okay different enemy <laughs> I wonder how much health those black flames have got, because they haven't got much. It's just a matter of hitting them before they half your, half your level. And so... Oh no, he's still alive. Okay. There we go. Harvester done. So now, we're going to go for the other enemy, but it's not actually in this area. You might be able to get in this little area, but I'm... I think it's... Ugh, hold on. Let's fight these a sec. Wow, even even Lena beat, beat one of them. I always think they're going to be able to petrify like the cockatrices or... Uh, whatever else. <laughs> I think the Final Fantasy IV is similar design. And it can petrify you. There we go. Ooh, level up. Oh yeah, that's what I meant to show you. Galif job leveled up and he learned Light Step. Avoid damage on floors with harmful effects. So it's effectively float. In dungeons that can do that. I think it's this island where we get we meet the next enemy. There it is, the prototype. So let me just you can learn self-destruct if you control it. You can also learn another move, which I'm not sure if you need to control him or not. Okay, good. No, oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. <laughs> you can control him to learn self-destruct, so... Critical attack. Wow, he has a thing for Galaf, doesn't he? Hmm. Missile? Oh, you can learn missile from him. I didn't realise that. So he's like... He's going to teach you a lot of blue magic moves if you let him. If you need him. Should we try attacking? Blaster. I... Ooh, insta kill. Wow. Let's keep trying to control him. He's got so many moves, maybe we could get a decent move out of him. How do we even hurt him? <laughs> Gaia? Yeah, well, it did damage, so that's progress. Thundara sword, chuck it on. 
Right, you need to heal yourself, love. At least I know... Ooh, he's under our control. Good, let's see the list of moves he's got. Ah, he hasn't got... What I was thinking of. I thought he had Flamethrower. The only move that we haven't got is Blaster. Should we... I'm gonna try that. We can always revive him. So it's not... Ah, that's it. But yeah, we can't... No, but we can't learn Flamethrower from him. Could have sworn it. <laughs> there we go. Wow, he had a lot of health. That would have took quite a few Gaias. Dark Matter. What's the Dark Matter? I know in Final Fantasy IX it's like, teach you Odin. Chemist mixing ingredient. Okay. Right, what I'm going to do... Give me two seconds. I am going to Google exactly what we're meant to be doing with that enemy because I could have sworn Flamethrower was a thing. There we go. Use Flamethrower. He, he does it on his second turn most of the time, but he didn't fancy it very often. So I've killed one or two of them. I got quite a bit of EXP because it's good EXP and AP from this enemy anyway, so it's not a bad show to actually grind a little bit, but I'm not gonna, because I've, I've fought a few of them now, and that, that might be enough for me. <laughs> right, so we're having a hard time with this fight either way. I just need to control him, then I can raise. There we go. So let's try and raise, quick, quick, quick. Raise uses a lot of MP for this point in the game, so... I have to go and heal up before we go to our next location. Self-destruct on himself. Also, we'll encounter him later on, and we'll get a new sword, sword magic spell, which will kill him off in one go as well. So, learn flamethrower, Faris mastered first strike. Ooh, let's have a little look at that. From the sound of it, I think I know what it's going to do, and it might be good for certain encounters. Increase the chance of having the first strike. Ah, uh, preemptive attacks. Like, okay, it's not as good as I thought. I thought it would make it so that you could attack first on a boss, or any encounter, kind of thing. Never mind. So, okay, I shall see you in a sec. Alright, we are back near Jackal, which I thought... <laughs> I thought we'd be going to later, but in my notes. It's been a while since I wrote the notes, you know, I wrote them quite a bit ahead of time. Preparing myself for this, because I was really nervous, so I was just like, as much research as possible. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We have made it to Jackal. The people of this village are descended from the ancient Ronkans. Sounds like a big deal, don't it? I mean, yeah, I guess so. Any items here? Nope. Another town without any items. Good. <laughs> Easier. The next dungeon we're going to, a Geomancer is actually a good idea. So, it's pretty lucky we've been <laughs> leveling one up. How about going up? But yeah. Hi. They say you can hear weird sounds coming from the ground on Crescent Island. Freaky. Hmm. Giving us a few hints, like the older Final Fantasies used to. Of things you might have to do lately. Later. Shops here sell weapons and armor that are excavated from the caves to the north. Yeah. My pa's an adventurer. He's off adventuring right now. Yay. My grandpa was an adventurer. He told me there was something underneath Crescent Island. Uh huh. What can I do for you? Another two potions. We've been finding. We they've been dropping quite a few, haven't they? Okay, that'll do for now. Anything upstairs? Ooh, kids today in their foolhardy sense of adventure. Fah. Yeah, everyone seems to be going on one. The caves up north are full of traps left by the ancients. If you go there, watch a step. So we got light steps. So that's good. This pub's always full of adventurers, hoping to strike it rich and find treasures in the caves up north up here. Of you. Of course, deep as you can in the cave, there's a wall you can climb to get outside. Okay. We're patiently on the path where the skull switches, and the truth will be revealed. Hint. That's a annoying part, but you just have to wait. We'll get it. The caves have been pretty much looted base, much most of the treasure chests you'll see are empty. You wouldn't think there's much point in checking them out unless the traps the ancient set are actually hmm. Hey, 
she doesn't mind people joining in. Nice, he's getting better. That's five, right? I think that's five pianos, maybe four. Shit, I should have kept track better. Ever been to Twistry Falls? Everyone says they're huge and that the view is breathtaking. Man, I want to go. Hmm, maybe we will. Way to the east of your Crest Island. It really is shaped like a crescent. Yeah. Let's see what we can buy. Ogre Killer, we don't really need it. Nothing. Coral Sword, can be enchanted. Infused with the power of lightning. Might as well buy one. Mage Masher. I think we need that as a better knife. Yeah. Trident, Ashura. We've got one Ashura. When did we get that? <laughs> Silver Bow. See, we can't use a lot of these yet. Trident. I'll buy one. Just to have one. And one of them. So if we now go to Faris. Instead of the Mithril Knife, we can put on... The Mage Masher, which is taking his pa attack power up by another 8, and a bit more magic, even though magic's not really something I'm too bothered by. But Coral Sword, I might as well put it on. Just go look out. It'll be good when we're on the sea. Green Berry, don't need one. Could get another one, but Ninja Suit. Uh, go on then. I'll say just surplus, we'll get two of those. Uh, Ninja Suit takes his agility up and weight way down, but his defences stay up, so that's amazing. Cotton Robe, Sage's Surplus. Ooh, we had a Silk Robe. Why's she got a Cotton Robe on? I must have optimised and changed jobs and stuff like that. Okay. And same for there. And Ninja Suit. Stain as a Ninja Suit. What about those green berries? I don't think anyone else can equip them, can they? Okay, okay. So, that is this area done. Let us get out here and we're going to go to the cave now. Check out what they're all, all exploring about. It's only a bay, it? It's a nice area. Nice, easy area, actually. Compared to some of the optional places we've been going to. <laughs> you know. It's quite nice. You know, Lena, or the White Mages, haven't had much luck with weapons, have they? I know they're not weapon users so much. But they just have... <laughs> Could do with a little bit better. Alright, let's save out by you. And head on in. Okay. So, plenty of skulls. How many chests are there? We will have a look now. Ooh, Scully does. So, let me just check my notes. Right, yeah. This is what we want to use the Geomancer for. Why is... I didn't press square, did I? Shit. I didn't think I did. What? That's meant... Oh, there we go. It confuses them. Right, there you go. Oh, so did. He fled. Does that mean I... Technically won? I got AP from it. Check the bestiary. Scully does. Ah, uh, bestiary. This could be an annoying enemy to get if they're going to run away. There it is. Okay, good, good, good. And let's revive. So Galaf doesn't need MP, so we'll change him on over to a white mage. And raise and cure. That will do, and change him back over to Geomancer. Uh, we don't need control in this place, so what I might do is just chuck on fine passages. No, light step. Okay, and as for you, Bart's two-handed, I could put on fine passages. No, I think we'll be good. I think the only chests... 
are towards the end of the dungeon. See, they're all empty otherwise. Okay, let's go. Another Skull Eater, so got preemptive strike, so that's amazing. We can straight away... <gasps> I... F oh shit, run away. I, I took control off, that's stupid. Okay, okay, I put control back on now. That's the part where it's like, just wait, and the skull will show. But for some weird reason there, don't ask me why, it showed right away. Why is that, do you know? Anyway, Nutkins, that's the other enemy in this place. So we've actually got all the enemies. And yeah. And I'm tempted. I think I'll turn encounters off now. Uh, uh. Ah, okay. But yeah, I've turned encounters off because we've seen all the enemies I want and I feel like we're not getting much EXP out of them anyway. Blitz whip. Here's over three chests. Sure can. And what's the third? Tent. Okay, so we've come in here. We got what we wanted. The beastier entry was the was the main thing. There we go. They told us there would be a way to climb up. <laughs> It's just to save, I suppose, but we got the quick save and stuff anymore in this version, so we don't really matter too much. Let's double check. Yeah, 3 out of 3. Let's get out here then. Tell you what, I'll see you out there. There you go. I didn't take 2 seconds. So what we're going to do next is head on over to Istri, which was the place over to the northwest. It's going to take a little sec. Once again, I've left the random encounters off, which might come back to bite me in the arse. But I hope, I hope not so badly. <laughs> All the way around. So, history is next. This is when I would have gone for Ramu. Which... Wasn't too far off, actually. When we were going to. So, it wasn't too hard of an encounter. I think the, the flash move was the worst of it. And you could have learned that, I suppose. I feel like blue magic is quite a main element of this game. But yeah, there we go. I think we will... Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll stop here because I don't know how long this episode's going to go with all the bestiary stuff and all that. So, this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we head into history and see what it's all about properly. See you in a bit, folks.